All right, that was a little personal. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna get a little more personal. <laughs> And then we're really going to just hit it hard there at the end. So if you haven't noticed, we, we started a little light. Now we're getting a little more tense. <laughs> What's happening, Stop Tribe? So every once in a while, we like to do a Q&A session because we get a lot of comments and a lot of questions either through YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, all the social media platforms. We try to respond to as many as we can, but we know we miss some. Yeah, unfortunately, we yeah. do sometimes miss them. Yeah, and sometimes we'll answer someone's, but like 10 other people ask the same question. So we're thinking like once a month, throw in a QA and a uh, on some of the top questions yeah. we receive. It'll be fun. It will be, be fun. A little saucy. A little saucy. <laughs> a little saucy. <laughs> yeah, so some- you get to know us better. That's exactly right. Some are gonna be very specific homestay related, but funny enough, the most questions we get asked are about our personal lives. Yeah. And so let's get right at it. Let's do it. All right, so a big question that we get asked, it's not really a fun one, but it's informational. <laughs> well, um, I don't know. Right now, as we go into this weird year of 2020 and as school starts coming up, it's, it's pretty spicy, I guess. Yeah. People say. are wanting to know what curriculum we use, how do we homeschool, all that fun stuff. Yeah. A lot of you are thinking about homeschooling this year, or um, if you have grandkids, you're thinking about maybe helping your kids homeschool them, and you're asking for all the input you can get because for some people, it's a whole new world. There is so much information out there that it's really overwhelming. That's right, and at a minimum, it's good to at least know the homeschool size. Right. So if you're just completely unfamiliar with it at all, um, there's a lot of uh, stereotypes and myths perceptions don't think that's a word <laughs> <laughs> i'm going with it you know what i mean there's a lot of people because the socialization right right um, but it's good to hear from an actual homeschool family what's up yeah so we use a becca it's the absolute best we would not change it for anything in the world i can't tell you that i've used anything else because i haven't yeah but i won't change um, it's our main thing that we use our main curriculum um, i just ordered raylan her first kindergarten year but wyatt used it for a oh whole gosh. year for first grade raylan yeah um, we get the full curriculum full year we get the books and he does the streaming version so it's really really cool you can set him up online him or her um, online and you can stream it right from your TV or your computer or you can get CDs delivered that you send back and they have their own little t-shirt right there and they have kids from the classroom and it's just a really cool process um, it's not cheap by any means but it's worth every penny um, a Becca is proven to be two years ahead of public school yeah why did she yeah why our son is six years old and he reads at probably a fifth grade level and he's writing cursive better yeah. than I write cursive yeah. and he's so that's six an years option. old you don't have to do cursive no. you can do manuscript or cursive, we just still very, cursive. yeah we're just still very popular pro cursive yeah. writing along with that we're starting to get into other things for history um, there's a series called the history of our world i believe it's called um, i'll link it down below we haven't tried it yet but i want to and i think it's gonna be really good it's biblical based if that's not something you're interested in you won't like a becca right. either um we want our curriculum to be a biblical based if you don't there's many other options yeah but it's a really cool series that teaches them about history because they don't get a whole lot of that in a becca um as well as that we like to teach the constitution the bill of rights that's um Okay, no. You're spidey spidey. No. <laughs> um, all the history of our country, and it's important to get different perspectives. You don't want yep. just the one public school perspective that you get. You want your kid to think outside of the box, have critical thinking skills, and be able to see a whole rounded perspective. Yeah, and two things that I wanted to add that she touched on, the affordableness. It is a little bit more on the expensive side. However, you can make monthly payments, yes. um, which makes it affordable. Uh, and the second, the real reason that we, like, I absolutely love it. It's an accredited yes. homeschool company. It can be. You don't have to choose. Yeah, you don't have to. Um, but I love that. We send in uh, his work. We send in his tests. They, we grade and they, like, validate our grading. Yeah. Um, and so if, if anything was ever happened and we had to flip to public school, like, he's got a transcript of his work. And I really like that part of, of Echo. Yeah, it's super cool. Yep. Next. Question number two. A little more on the fun side of things. So we're very big on work hard, play equally yeah. as hard. Uh, and so in part of doing that is you need to cool down yeah. and warm up, I guess, in this yeah. situation. <laughs> so we do have a hot tub we do. and a pool that we love Drop. to have. So many people ask, what type of hot tub did you get? And what kind of pool do you have? Yeah. Here's your answer. Here's your answer. So the hot tub is a Innova Spa Phantom. I had to look it up. Show them the, just show them the manual. Here's there. the... 
the owner's manual. There you go. We got it from a local pool and spa store. Well, I think Aurora is. Oh, is it? Is it? I think Aurora is oh. everywhere. <laughs> um, yeah, we decided we wanted a hot tub and this was a cheaper, well, not cheaper. Yeah, we said give us the cheapest <laughs> thing you got yeah. because nothing there is cheap. Right, and it was brand new. Um, all in all, I think it was about $5,000. $5,000. It is a 110. Um, you can convert it to 220, which is really cool. Most hot tubs are 220. However, yeah. if you can find a 110 one for a good price, snatch it, and then you can convert it. Right, Some and the biggest thing with that is you can just run an extension cord out for a 110, right? right? You can't do that for 220. You need to have actual wiring, electrician, all that good stuff. Yeah. Um, the, the difference between 110, when the jets are on, it doesn't heat. Right. 220, it heats while the jets are on. So in the wintertime, that could be a little bit of an yeah, issue. Yeah, in the wintertime, we're gonna convert it to 220. Right, but in the summer, it's perfect. It's fantastic yeah. and spring fall too it's really just the de the dead of winter that yeah. you really need that 220 going yeah. on yeah we love our hot tub it helps our backs home setting is hard it is hard <laughs> so we can't afford to go to a massage place every right time. or have and a gym membership so we bought a hot tub right and we don't want to leave our house so yeah. <laughs> welcome to our masseuse okay sorry no, <laughs> my bad i was gonna say so the hot tub is nighttime early morning thing yes. when you're in the heat of the day you want some coolness so we got this awesome pool yeah um we bought it Last year, yeah, um, for about three or four hundred dollars, it was super cheap. You're not gonna find that right now. We during, bought it at Walmart. Yeah, we bought it at Walmart. Um, you're not gonna find that right now for any pool, just because thanks to the pandemic, yeah, nobody can go to water parks. So everybody's buying pools, so they, they very much escalated the price. However, people still want to know what we have, so we have the power no Coleman 18 by 48 Power Steel Swim Vista Series Two. Yeah, and we got it at Walmart, like we said. Unfortunately, you're probably not able to find it at this time. Right. But if you can find it online, snatch one up because they're really good pools. Um, the filters aren't the greatest in the world, but as long as you keep them clean, do the maintenance. We maintain our pool and our hot tub once a week. We make sure that all the chemicals are good, pH is good, all that fun stuff. It is work, Yeah. but it's worth it. <laughs> right, and like she said, the filters aren't the greatest. A lot of people turn these like Walmart pools into saltwater pools. Yeah. Um, which is a very good idea to use because the pool itself is great. You know, like it's in fantastic shape. It's just the filter kind of sucks. Yeah, we probably will eventually do that. Yeah, I'd be excited about it. Yeah. Okay, now more for a homesteading question that we get asked all the time, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> what are our rabbits for? Yeah, it's quite simple. The rabbits are for fertilizer. Yep. Their poop is gold. And fertilizer and fun. And fun, yeah. Pets. Pets. They're incredibly friendly really fun the kids love them we love them they just add a lot of joy to the day they really do and they're really low maintenance you know make sure they have food and water and that's really it every time we went into roll king the kids begged and her yeah begged me and begged me and begged me to get a rabbit and i was like no i don't want a rabbit because as soon as we get one we're gonna have a hundred yeah well we got one and now we got nine <laughs> we're <laughs> doing good we are doing pretty good. good but i've got four structures over here yeah uh for the rabbits but they are really cool they're cool little pets to have uh and the kids and jen and myself, love them. <laughs> yeah, and their poop can go straight to the garden, which yeah, is it's really nice. Gold, yeah. liquid gold. No, solid gold. Solid gold. <laughs> <laughs> what about question number three? Four. Four. Four? Four. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I get asked this a lot. I've answered it a lot. However, we always get new people. Um, and so it's a very common question that we receive. So it's good to update everyone once in a while. What do I do for a living? What's my job? What do I work for? I wish I could say it's here full time. It's not. Um, I work for a major health insurance company. Um, I have nothing to do with the health insurance side of things. I work, uh, I am a project, no, I have weird titles. My, my name is Project uh, Advisor, so uh, or Program Advisor. So what I basically do is I control the, the website and the app um, for the health insurance company, if that makes sense. I'm not very technical, but I like, I manage the people that are. Yeah. So I make sure they do it on time, I make sure they do it on budget, all those, all that fun stuff. And he is home 24 seven. He does yeah. work from home. So that allows us to get a lot of things done. It does really help. It's a huge benefit uh, of my job. Um, I'm extremely blessed and grateful to have it. Um, however, my dream is to be homesteading, farming full time, and that being our only income. Uh, my goal is not to work till 60, 65, 70 and retire. My goal is to retire 40 or 50. Uh, that's, I've had it set in my mind that I want to do that. I've always wanted to be um, my own owner. Uh, 
small business owner. Yeah. Um, and I know Jen supports that as well. And it's, I'm, we're going to make I that happen. We're there. Yeah, we're, 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 getting, right we're getting close. <laughs> um, it'll be hard to, to quit one day, but eventually I would like to and be here full time. Yeah. All right, this one gets brought up to us a lot. Um, how many acres do we have? If you're getting into homesteading or you're interested in homesteading, it's a very common question. Um, how many acres do I need to homestead? So we are on six and a half. We're actually using probably two and a half, three, uh, to be quite honest. Yeah, most um, of it's woods. Right, and a lot of it is shared also with my mother who lives down the hillside. Um, but we're on six and a half total acres, which we do have access to. Um, yeah. We're hoping to expand to do cattle. Um, but we do this huge backyard garden that's expanding out. Um, we have all of our animals on about three acres, yeah. to be honest with you. We do a lot with what we have. Yep. And you can too. Honestly, you can do it on one acre if you want to. Yeah. Um, a, there's a lot of good people out there that show you how to do it with one acre. Goats, chickens, all of it you can do on one acre. And it's really, really cool. But I'd say we are using a lot of what we have. Yeah. I would, most of the, its ability. We're, we're jam-packed, but in an appropriate amount of it. Yeah. huge question we get asked what size is our greenhouse what did we make it out of what in the world is that thing that you all grow plants in right and the the first reason that it's such an ask question is when we built this it was like like our seventh video we had yeah. ever made it's a <laughs> and it's really it's bad. a terrible video <laughs> i actually people, like try to watch it and they're like mm, i need more information right and there's that. thousands of views on it and even at one point i turned the phone the wrong way while recording and it's like upside down as i'm talking about it so our greenhouse is a cattle panel greenhouse it is 16 foot long, that's four cattle panels, and it's 10 foot wide and eight foot tall. So all we did was we put two uh, 12 by 16 foot long uh, boards on the bottom. We put the cattle panels on the top, so two foot high, and that gave us my eight foot, eight foot height. Um, we then spread it out 10 foot wide, and of course the 16 foot long. Uh, the greenhouse plastic is six mil, um, and it's on, we got it off Amazon. It's we, in our store, you can find it. It is, and we actually got the right one in the store because the one we got was like a tad too yeah. short. Um, but that is our cattle panel greenhouse. Uh, we put a window on the back, screen door on the front. It does great. Um, we can't really start in the summer. Anything yeah, growing in there, it gets too hot. Too hot. Uh, if we had a way to roll up the uh, plastic on the sides, it would be perfect, like a hot tunnel kind yeah, of style thing. We'll figure so, it out one day. Yeah, we will. But for now, it's absolutely fantastic and holding heat. And for about $250, that can be yours. Yeah. This might be the most this asked question most that we get from people that have followed us for a long time and people that are new. Um, a lot of you find us by our video that we posted about nine months ago. Um, we talked about how we were, we were pregnant, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> how we were on the brink of divorce. We were yeah. having marital issues. I wanted another child, Zach did not. It caused a lot of problems for a lot of years. Um, nine months ago, he finally changed his mind. We decided we're gonna expand our family. <laughs> To answer some of the questions on that, she did not force me into that. No, That's why no. we were having issues because I was not No, budging. he literally woke was, up one day and said it to me and I didn't even say anything. Right, we were actually getting better and it just it happened yeah. when it did. So, all right, move on. Yeah, so anyway, <laughs> nine months ago we posted that, told y'all that we were going to expand our family um, and we get asked all the time, are we pregnant yet? Are we, are pregnant? we having a third child? Are we still trying? Right. What's going on there? And you're right, we haven't updated that too much. Um, we are still trying. Um, we're 30 years old. Um, we're still young, uh, so there there really shouldn't be issues, yeah. I guess one would say. Um, we haven't ever been like strategic on saying, you know, this day, that day is better, or worse, whatever. Right. It's been just natural. It was mainly to not get into too much information. There was no longer any, let's not have a baby right. stuff mm -hmm. happening. Um, so yes we're trying no yeah. we're not pregnant no we're not, pregnant um, yet. No, we're not discouraged not for lack of trying <laughs> right and no we're not discouraged um yes we're just seeing what yeah god gives us i mean yeah. if, if uh it's in his hands we we both are finally in a place to where we agree um that we would like a third child if that happens amazing right. we're very happy but it doesn't mean that we're not happy with our current life if for some reason it's just not in the cards with us it's not yeah um if it goes on too long to just kind of add a little bit, we probably will get Yeah, I mean, everything I've read says that if you have trouble for a year um, and you don't get pregnant, then it might be time at your 30s to go have an appointment and see, you know, what's going on. Right. So just to get answers, I guess. But if 
we'll see, right? Um, but to answer that question, no, we're not pregnant. Yes, we're still trying. And no, I haven't changed my mind back. Yeah. And <laughs> all of you have prayed so hard for us. Yes. And thank you so much for that. Um, a lot of you tell me all the time, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. And I believe it will if it's meant to be. If not, then I still appreciate your prayers and we'll see what happens. Yeah. They're baby stivers, maybe one day. <laughs> all right. That was a little personal. Now we're going to get a little more personal. And then we're really going to just hit it hard there at the end. So if you haven't noticed, we, we started a little light. Now we're getting a little more tense. Um, question we get asked a lot, because we've mentioned it. We've, mm -hmm. we've talked about this a little bit. Um, the question is, are we moving? Are we leaving our homestead to go somewhere else? This is our long-term place. What, what's our like plan? We have goals for more acreage, more land. What do right. we want to do? Right. So to give a little background, we are on six and a half acres and we call us the compound and we have family everywhere and it's fantastic. Um, but to be quite honest, we're the only ones on the compound that really have the mindset to do this. Yes. So we are very limited to the space that we have. Um, to expand, reference back to retirement part, um, to try to become a small business, we do need to start thinking about expansion. Yes. However, we're very happy very. right where we are. We love, we love our place. We our, have Our house was such a dream for so yeah. long that I cannot imagine myself leaving it. But if bigger doors were opened, you know, more opportunity, it would be something to think about, but it, it would be devastating. <laughs> it would be extremely devastating <laughs> be if devastating. we had to leave that. And like she said, the house, we built a DIY pole barn house. We'll never house. find another one like it. No, and I'll <laughs> never be able to build another one like <laughs> it. <laughs> Might be able to build one better, <laughs> but the love won't, wouldn't right. be there as much. Um, however, if that door opens, we are open to intrigue it, yes. if that makes sense. Uh, to be honest with y'all completely, um, we couldn't even look at it if we wanted to try. Um, we could afford monthly payments, but student loans had jacked our credit up so yep. bad um, that we would never get approved for a loan. Right. Um, so that's stuff that's in the work. We're trying to make all those things better, uh, make sure that we're, that, that debt part is getting out of the way. So if we had to make a decision, the credit piece wouldn't hurt us. Yeah. Um, so that's where we're working. We're not making any plans to move. Do we happen to pop on Zillow every once in a while and just like dream? <laughs> yes, don't we all, right? Um, but then I look at like places like behind what you're seeing right here. And it I'm would like, be so hard to look. I even told her the other day, I was like, I can't imagine finding a property that's as beautiful as what we're looking at right now. Um, and just- the, We've looked. I mean, yeah. we've physically went and looked and it just, didn't compare. It, it, it really doesn't. There's you know, nothing that compares. You're going to complain about something on your land all the time. You know, yeah. here we have nothing level, um, but I think I like that. You yeah. know, I think I like that nothing's level. Um, we complain about needing more acreage, but also am really impressed by what we cram in small spaces yeah. that are efficient. Yeah. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Keep following us to see because as the next year rolls around, you they don't know what's yeah, going on. Yeah, yeah. We're not ready to talk about it now. Um, that'll be another Q&A. Uh, but there's just things that are happening that are going to be a little bit out of our control, and we just kind of have to see what happens. Yep, roll with the punches. Roll with the punches. <laughs> the last and final question is one that we have never talked about on our channel. Ever, we well, have. that's a lot. We talk about it. Just not directly. Right. Um, but we get asked a lot. And really, there's no reason to answer it's it. We're just shade thrown. We don't even get A lot of shade. We a lot of shade thrown. We get a lot of shade. And it, it's funny. It's like, <laughs> why? But it is what it is. Um, our political stance. Yeah. Um, and you're still not going to get the answer you probably want. Yeah. Um, for the ones specifically that asked. Um, first off, our political stance is... We live on this land, we live by this land, and we don't turn on the news, right. um, to be blatantly honest. Yeah. Um, are our lives in general more conservative? Yes, yes. they are. We just, the way we we just lean towards that it's just, way of a life. And it's that's not political. Um, that to us means we live off of our land, we homeschool our children, we teach them um, a roundabout education that does include biblical. Mm -hmm. Are we like hardcore? Though, no, no, we're not. I mean, we're fun people. We consider yeah. ourselves fun people. Yeah. We're not tight up. We like. <laughs> well, and, 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 and even right now, you're like trying to defend <laughs> the way that we are. No, what I'm saying it? like, we're not 100% perfect. No. Like we don't, you know, do everything at, by the book, the, the way that we're supposed to do. Um, we do love Jesus. We do love a beer once in a while. Beer, wine. <laughs> wine. Um, and that's just us. We're yeah, fun yeah. people. We're good people. 
We mentioned everybody it, sinners. We mentioned sinners it too. before in a previous video. I honestly feel like our political view is Appalachian living. Yes. Like whatever the Appalachians are. <laughs> Maybe like, not that hardcore. But we're pretty similar. We don't similar. drink moonshine on the porch, okay? And <laughs> but we have. <laughs> um, not like a nightly routine. Right. No, but no joke. We just fumbled all over the place with that. <laughs> our stance is living a simple life to where we're not reliant on any others. It leans, if you had to put a judgment on it, on the conservative side of things, yes. just because of the way we live. Uh, we do own guns. Mm -hmm. um, we feel it's an important part within our lifestyle with between hunting and protection. Also, it's a hobby. <laughs> also, it's a hobby. Yeah. We really enjoy them. Um, we also believe in gun safety. Yes. That is also a hobby, but it's also for our children to make sure that they are safe in every aspect in life. Say they're 18 years old and they come across a gun, they need to know what to do with it. Exactly. That and doesn't mean that guns are, are like something that we incorporate into our everyday lives. It just means that if they see one, they are aware of what to do. That is 100% accurate. And to put it in more simpler terms, which now it's a lot different because I don't even think there are stick shift vehicles anymore, really. But like, my parents forced me to own a stick shift car when I first started driving. Yeah. Like, that was my first vehicle. My parents tried. Yeah, it didn't, it didn't work. work. <laughs> <laughs> but the reason they wanted me so badly to have one is if I was ever in the situation and I had to get out of wherever I was and I got in a manual vehicle, I knew how to drive it. Yeah. Same aspect on gun safety. If our kids ever had to be in a situation, God forbid they do, but when a gun's around and they needed to disarm that and yeah get it out of the situation of a dangerous, they knew how to do it. And that's how we treat everything. Yeah. That's with wild animals, you know, livestock, that's with yep. foraging, gardening, growing your own food, raising right. animals. It's with all of that. We exactly. want them to know every important aspect of life to where they can help themselves in yep. a situation. Yeah. If you, you come, you're hiking, you come across a bear. What do I do? Right. You don't have any food and you get stranded. Yeah. What can I eat? And unfortunately uh, that I think, I feel like that labels us as like conservative people. Right. And I don't see that as negative. Some people do. The word sometimes has a negative meaning. Well, we don't even care what you call it. Right. We call it the way that Zach and Jim believe yeah. things are yeah. um, and the way we want to live. And the biggest thing that we as people need to do is just respect the way people want to live. Yeah. Um, if we don't have to agree, you know, if you don't agree with us having guns or us saying that our kidneys learn how to drive a stick shift or protect themselves from a bear or forage, yeah. that's fine. I respect the way whatever you want to live. Um, and that's the happiness that we always try to share. Yeah. So I would say officially our political stance is nothing. Yeah. Our political stance is a way of life and we live by not relying on the news. We don't turn it on. We feel as if you rely on what the nightly news is telling you, you're not living a great life yeah. um, to turn it off. We don't watch the news. Um, we've had to a little here we recently. We are aware we keep up right. just because things seem to be hitting closer to home. So yeah. we, we are aware we keep up with that. We mainly watch local news, yes. mainly because we want to see what the weather's doing because right. we have such a semi-off yes. gritty lifestyle. Yes. <laughs> with that being said, um, we do see ourselves as good people. We choose to hang out with good people. Um, and we believe in justice and safety for all. And this world is corrupt. And unfortunately, man will never rule man. And we will probably never have what we think that we need for everyone. It's just not going to be that way. You just might drop it. Man will never yeah. rule man. They won't. Period. Quit relying on man. Quit thinking man's doing you wrong. Quit doing anything about man. Be a good person. That's right. Be a and good person. Raise your kids to be good people. Raise your kids to love everyone. Mm -hmm. To always have fairness and love in their eyes and yep. treat everyone as the way that they want to be treated. That's yep. what my mom always taught me. That's treat right. people how you want to be treated. The golden, if you join, golden rule. If you join our staff tribe group, my second question <laughs> is, will you treat others how you want to be treated? That's right. And you know, it's just, it, I know it sounds silly to even ask, yeah. but it's a reminder. When you see something and you're thinking something negative to say back or that shade thrown yeah. that we get a lot. <laughs> yeah, <the shade. laughs> uh, decide just not to do it. I promise you um, if you met us, I don't care who you are. If you met us, you would love us. You would absolutely love <laughs> you us. You would love us so much that you would That's right. You would love every flaw that we had. And then you'd be like, my gosh, what can I like hate on them? Um, and I'm sure we would for you all yeah. as well. Um, we're just, we're fun, happy, loving people. We believe that's the political stance that you should have. Um, again, I can't express it enough. Quit relying on man. Quit relying on any political party to do something for your life um, because all they are is in the interest of themselves. That's right. Every political person is. Make your own joy. Make your own joy and just adjust. You know, you can complain and you can be upset about a law or something that's made in and you can stand up for your rights. But unfortunately, we're just going to have to adjust yeah. uh, to some of the things that come out 
law wise. Yeah. Uh, and that's the way we treat it. You're not going to change us too much. We'll just change with you. That's right. <laughs> I mean, has there ever been a more ramble question <laughs> that we asked ourselves? Like, like we, it's our video. Like blood pressure. <laughs> <I know. laughs> like red. <laughs> it's like our video. We decided like we were going to answer that question. And we're like, yeah. all over the place with it. Like yeah. we just got put on the spot for we it. We want y'all to know us more. We no, do. We don't want there to be any mystery. No like mm -hmm. secrets surrounding us. We want you all to understand us and know us. Yeah. And, and that's what this Q&A is all about. So that comes from the lighthearted stuff to the more personal stuff. Yeah. Um, if you don't like it, that's perfectly fine. Yeah. Um, we love and want everyone to stay subscribed. But if you just are not comfortable with us, that's fine. You can go. There's plenty more. Um, we hate to see you to leave. Follow. And I'm I hate. There's plenty more people for us. There's plenty more people for you to follow. Right. But the biggest thing I ask is don't let it be on anything that we believe to be a reason to go. If you liked us before, you still like us now. There's probably something about you we disagree with. Yeah, but. <laughs> We see the good in people That's and right. just continue to see the good in <laughs> us because I promise it's there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah, well, I promise we're done rambling. Mm -hmm. I hope you enjoyed this Q&A. Please, if we didn't answer one of your hot burning questions, yes, ask please. it down below. Anything, gardening, animals, anything, put it down below and we'll do this like once a month. That'll right, really fun. get as personal as you want to yeah, get. get personal. We yeah. don't have to answer. <laughs> Or we will. Or we will. Um, but then also for you all, look down in the comments, like the ones that yeah. you see. Uh, that helps us identify like that the most, like yeah. what are the questions that people want to hear about the most. And we'll do this again next month. All right. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Or if don't. If you want to. <laughs> or not. Unsubscribe. We want you to, but you don't have to. All right, we love y'all. Until the next one. Bye. Bye.